This video is all about how to find your higher purpose so that you can experience more joy, more fulfillment, and more pleasure in your business and in your life. There's nothing like feeling a sense of purpose. It gives everything more meaning, more color, and it helps us to feel more joy in our life. And I can actually attest to this firsthand because for so many years, I lived my life without purpose. I thought I had a purpose, but my purpose was to succeed, to achieve, to win, to compete, to make money, to get promotions. And so if you can kind of sense that the, the common thread in all of those things that I'm talking about was about me and was about my success, my achievement, my outcomes. The distinction between that way of living and being, which it, it can get us outcomes and we can create a, a, a decent enough life just from that place, but the distinction between living that way and living with purpose is when we have purpose, we are living a life that is bigger than just us. It's a life that contributes to others, that adds value to the planet in some way, shape, or form. And the very, very simple distinction between the way I used to live and the way I live now and the way you could live since you've looked up this video is to actually choose a purpose. And now I use the word choose really intentionally because I used to go around thinking that my purpose was something that was going to find me or that I was going to find it. And I even remember scenarios where I would meet somebody who was really purpose driven and really clear about what they were contributing to the world. And I remember feeling envious. I remember feeling like, wow, you're so lucky because you found your purpose and I haven't found mine yet. And so I, I related to my purpose as something that I would trip over like a rock and that when I saw it, then I would recognize it and all the pieces of my life would fall into place. And until that happened, well, I was just going to trudge along and chug along and live my life the way I was living it. And so the big shift, the big distinction happened even really before the big shift happened. In other words, it happened before the pieces fell into place. It happened by me just saying, all right, I give up waiting for this purpose. I give up waiting for it to find me or for it to, for me to find it. I'm just going to decide. I'm just going to choose a purpose right here, right now. And maybe it's the right one. Maybe it's the wrong one. I don't even know, but I'm going to declare myself for something. And back then, what that declaration was, was for women's empowerment. And that was many years ago, and that sort of precipitated the a chain of events that led me to be here in front of you today. And now my purpose is actually broader than just women's empowerment, although women's empowerment is a big piece of it. But really, my purpose is to activate you, to activate superstars, to tap into their gifts, to tap into their truest selves, to find their vision and tap into their purpose so that you can contribute something of value to the world. So I've determined three very simple ways to get at your purpose. Now, the first way is not one that I made up. I, I remember hearing this a long time ago and I've adopted or adapted it since. So the first way to get to your purpose is to Fast forward a long time in your life, maybe 30, 40, 50, 60 years, depending on how old you are, to the end of your life. And now imagine what would you want your obituary to say? What would you want the people sitting at your funeral to hear about you and who you were in your life? Would you want them to hear that you were someone who empowered other people or that you brought joy to, uh, to children in need or that you founded a, a, a nonprofit or a charity or a program to transform the education system? Fast forward to the end of your life. What do you want to look back and what do you want other people to look back on and know that you left behind? What's the legacy that you would like your life to have? 
So that's the first way to do it. And that may or may not resonate with you. It worked for me uh, a while back when I first did it. Now, the second way to do it is to first just write down a purpose. Write down something that you think it might be. Just your very first attempt at a purpose statement. So it might be, I want to help women succeed and achieve more in their lives. Okay, I help women succeed and achieve. So now you ask yourself your first why. Why? Why do you want to help women succeed and achieve? Okay, well, um, and then you write down the next layer. So I want to help women succeed and achieve because I feel like the world would be a better place with more women succeeding and achieving. Oh, good, awesome. All right, so now let's ask why again. Why is it important that the world be uplifted and a better place? And now is when you have to start going, digging really deep. Well, because I found that in my life, my mother had all these talents and gifts and skills and strengths, but she never got to use any of them and she died without expressing her full glory in the world. And I don't want anybody else to die without expressing their full glory. And now we're getting somewhere. So you ask why five times. And by the fifth time, or maybe the sixth or the seventh, you should have something that really feels deep and resonates deeply for you as a purpose. And the last way that I found that can sometimes help people, if they if the first two options haven't worked, which are to, to think about what kind of legacy you want to leave, the third option is to pay attention to what angers you, what bothers you in the world, what is unjust that you see and you're just like, oh, I can't stand that. Right? What are the things that really get to you? And then that's the the, the, the negative, right? The, the, the anger, the frustration, the not wanting. And then let's flip that. Well, what would be the opposite of that thing? What would be the, the opposite of that thing that makes you mad? So to give you an example, um, I have a client who just, it dr drives her crazy and it brings her such pain to see the way we waste in this world, how we consume and dispose of so many things. And so that's something that just brought her a lot of pain and anguish. And so what she's created as in her business as an expression of her purpose is a business that's focused on catering and education around reducing waste and consumption and actually catering without producing any waste. It's actually called zero waste catering. So you can check that out. So that's an example of using the, the thing that bothers you to kind of identify and get to the thing that's going to help you be a vehicle for your purpose in the world. So those are my three strategies for identifying and finding your purpose. And if you like this sort of thing and you want to do more around aligning your business with your lifestyle, with your gifts, with your personality, with your strengths, and you want to also build something that's lifestyle friendly and, and, and consistent and stable and scalable, then go ahead and download my Monetize Your Magic playbook. You can get that by clicking on the link below and I just know that you're going to enjoy it and it's free. See ya!